pontoon. Coots and I built this boat, but we ran into a huge problem. It was sinking. So we needed to make a quad tune to raise it up. But there was a lot working against us. There was a massive storm that was supposed to nail us in a couple days. We keep our boat at my brother's house and he hates it. And the biggest challenge of them all is that we have to do this on the water because we don't have a trailer. Welcome to Money Pit Boating. With a storm fast approaching, we were super excited because we found an awesome deal on a pair of 24 foot pontoons. But we had no way to get them to Matt's house. If you're new here, I'm Mark and that's Coots and we build solar powered boats to go on adventures and clean up garbage along the way. So we drove to a U-Haul and rented a huge truck to move the pontoons to Matt's. Which he'd be blindsided by in a few. <laughs> Just driving a big rig. Unfortunately, we got to Matt's house the same time he did, and he was mad. He didn't want an ugly 30-foot boat at his house, but we assured him that it was only gonna be 24 feet. But he didn't believe us, so he tried using a tape measure for the first time in his life. Matt, what are you doing? You know how to work that thing? called Matt down and everything seemed to be okay. The next day, we bought Matt a late birthday gift to apologize. Happy birthday. Now put it on and we gotta use it. Uh. <laughs> we grabbed some wood because aluminum is super expensive and we don't know how to weld. We cut it down to fit under our current deck. We grabbed some lunch and that's when we realized that we were in way over our heads. Jumping Jiminy. So we bought these pontoons but never really figured out a good way to stick them under the boat. Our plan of putting the 4x4s on the boat and attaching them to the pontoons was easy on paper, but super hard in reality because we weren't building this on land. We thought that the 4x4s would just slide under the boat, but they didn't. We were starting to doubt ourselves. Can we even build this on the water? We lined up the first tune and then put it on its side and like roll it under the 4x4s. <laughs> <laughs> this idea was pretty much our only hope. After hours of struggling, we finally were able to fight it into place. But we still had to move the beams over the brackets and then bolt them on. The sun went down, the mosquitoes came out, so we went in. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> sun came down. <laughs> Today, we're going to try to add the fourth pontoon. It's going to be nearly impossible. I'm being quiet because Mark's brother Matt is home, and if he hears me, he will definitely come out here and make fun of me. Oh my God. It's fine. Here we have our nice walkway around, and our pontoon is submerged. Somehow we're gonna try and put that over there. <laughs> we think making our boat a quad tune will raise it up and make it plow less water, which might give us some more speed with our new motor. For the second pontoon, we figured that we'd just use our new rolling method that we came up with and we'd be good to go. But after trying a few times, we realized it wasn't gonna be that easy. We didn't really know what to do at this point, but Coots' brother Brian showed up to help, which we desperately needed because the growing storm was still headed our way. Matt saw how bad we were struggling, so he actually helped us too. If we didn't get the second pontoon on, we risked having our boat being swept away by the current. So finally, with the help of both our brothers, we got the pontoon to where it needed to be. We were really excited, but we still had even more work ahead of us. Care to give a synopsis? We tried all Mark's ideas and none of them worked. And okay, start over, oh, start over. <laughs> <laughs> well, so. we got the fourth pontoon under the supports, not where they're supposed to be, so it's gonna be another pain. Yeah, the bottom ones are barely touching. And after night and the mosquitoes hit, that was all we could do that day. The sun came down. <laughs> We're trying to get them bolted in. This one goes here. This one goes there. This one, uh, one of these things. And this last one goes there. Mark went to get the drill bit. And I used this 100-year-old come-along, they call it, to try to pull this pontoon in closer. And I realized the come-along is really strong. I gotta think of how this is Mark's fault. But we were yanking on one of the cross beams to get it back into place. We noticed that there was a little plug that was stopping it. So we had to somehow move the entire pontoon forward instead of just moving the beam back. So to do that, we used more ratchet straps. A lot of pulling and tugging was going on. Is it doing anything? Oh yeah. And after hours of wrenching on this boat, we finally got it. Well, before we could go on a test drive, it poured. 
then the river started getting higher and higher. We were crushed. We saved the boat, but now we had to wait even longer to test out our new quad tube. We had to weigh down the deck so the whole thing didn't get swept away. It wasn't safe to go out in those conditions. We probably couldn't fight the current, even with our new motor. We also didn't want to get slammed into a bridge and risk capsizing. Once the river got back to safe levels, it was finally time to test out our new quad tube. Adding the two extra pontoons made our boat ride so much higher and we didn't hit nearly as many submerged obstacles. The coolest thing about having the extra pontoons on the side is that we can walk around the entire boat. So we can pick up garbage easier and when we get jammed up, we can unjam us. The boat was a lot more stable now. It's so much fun getting out on the water, and we're really happy that we decided to upgrade the boat. Who knew that two extra pontoons and a little bit of wood could solve all our problems? The added buoyancy gave our new motor almost another full mile per hour. Our quad tune upgrade was going to allow us to go a lot further and get to places we've never been before. Where else can we explore? We've learned a lot on this upgrade, but this is just the beginning. At the start, we just had a boat that was about to sink and an idea. And now we have a sturdy foundation to build more upgrades on. We had a lot of fun adding the pontoons onto the side of the boat, but we have even more fun in this video right here. And there's a lot of upgrades in it, so click on it you're not gonna wanna miss it. And thanks for watching. Welcome to Money Pit Pony. <laughs> Click. <laughs>